What's going on everybody? This is the Country Gaming Network and welcome to the new series of How to Play Magic the Gathering. This will be Lesson 1 even, excuse me, must be drunk or something. Lesson 1 on the game basics. Uh, I'm going to be very brief and not super detailed about this because this game has probably 15,000 plus individual cards spanning from 1993 to present and it's almost infinite possibilities in the way the game has evolved it's hard to talk about everything or even talk about one thing without having other ways to do it this is what this is going to include in this lesson guys and I wish I could have had this when I started it's just your right now your pregame what to do before you actually start playing how do you shuffle your cards what are the rules for that okay how many cards do you draw where do you start that's what this is going to start with guys and then we will slowly get on and into everything y'all want to get into leave comments for any any questions about rulings or anything you want to see or play styles just let me know there's so many I'm not even going to touch on them right now I'm already getting off topic let me get on into what we we're originally talking about pre-game guys you're gonna have your deck of 60 cards probably at least and we want to talk about that you got your deck what you're gonna do shuffle it you're playing with say one or two people let's just say one you just playing one on one with your buddy shuffle your deck you're gonna let him cut it and he's gonna let you cut it okay then you're gonna be able to draw seven cards alright if you don't like this hand you can do what's called a mulligan and draw an additional seven and that's you know probably gonna happen at least with me seems like I never get anything good I always draw doo-doo my first time literal doo-doo okay if you don't like that you get your mulligan and if you don't like your mulligan draw then you can draw again but you will go down to six and it'll keep on going down five four three excuse me and on down etc kind of like a penalty okay all right and then once you have that your cards in hand you like what you have you're gonna roll your dice Normally, it's the top goes first, highest, you know, the highest roll, and that player that goes first will not draw a card in what's called the draw step. So now let's just go over the steps, okay? You have what's called the beginning of your upkeep, and there'll be many of cards that say at the beginning of your upkeep such and such, okay? Remember this. I'm just let you know the different phases of the Magic the Gathering. Very important, all right? You have the beginning of your upkeep. All damage is reset. Everything, you know, as far as due to your creatures, everything untaps unless stated otherwise, okay? Then you have a draw step. And this is all very important, and you'll come to realize this the more you play, and there's different cards that you read, all right? Then your draw step, you're going to have what's called your main phase one, or a first main phase. This is where you can lay anything down. You lay your one land down, creatures, instant sorceries, and sorcerers can only be played on your main phases and get into that later all right then you have what's called a combat phase all right this is where you can attack or not attack um, defending players okay and then that will basically resolve and then you have what's called a second main phase you can play additional cards and some people you know I even wondered for a while why I have two main phases why not play everything in the beginning well, certain cards have perks, and you'll understand to play them either after combat damage was given, or there's many different reasons. We'll get into that, but you have a second main phase. Then what you have is called an end phase. Okay, that's where like your things um, on your end kind of resolve over. You know, the damage this turn, you know, this will start to resolve out. For you know, you'll have cards that might say such and such until end of turn. Okay, we end phase when all that phases out. And it becomes the uh, the upkeep of your opponent's turn. Okay. And then at this point, the same process would happen. So we can go over this one more time, real quick. All right. You have your the beginning of your upkeep. Then you have your draw step. You have your first main phase. Your combat phase. A second main phase. And then your end step or your end keep some people call it the ending of your turn okay that's it that's your the bones for how to play magic as far as your turns and this gets a little interrupted by different cards and we can get into that later okay and real quick I want to go ahead and share with you guys um, kind of placement of where things will be on the table 
because as for me as a beginner, I didn't know. So kind of had to watch and you know, I, had, I had some jerky friends. No, I'm just kidding, they weren't jerks. They were really good in trying to teach me. So what you'll do is you'll have your library generally right here, right here to your right kind of. Your graveyard will go here and we'll get into what that is. Normally you'll put your land cards here any creature cards here on the battlefield and then your artifacts here things like that enchantments kind of separated and you'll understand all that just giving you a basic design basic layout of kind of how it looks and your opponents will do likewise alright guys I know this wasn't super in-depth but just trying to get a pre-game feel kind of let you know what to expect um, thank you for watching if you liked it, um, hit the like button. Please leave a comment for any questions you have or for a video idea. And it could be anything to do with Magic the Gathering. Just let me know. Uh, Lesson-wise, I am going to continue these up to a certain point. And if your question is something that's really kind of advanced, give me a little bit of time before I cover it because I'm going to try to get the other ones through first, if you understand what I'm saying. But this is the Country Gaming Network. Thanks so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and uh, we'll see you next time.